Hi, I'm Jill Maurer, and welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so now. Today we're going to talk about the design of a photo shoot. So as you know, I'm a fine jewelry designer, and photo shoots are a big part of my life. Sometimes there's a photo shoot just of the jewelry, which is more of like a product shot, and sometimes there's a model photo shoot. So today I'm gonna to talk a little more about the model photo shoot and kind of how I go about that and what we do. So in doing a photo shoot with models, one of the things that I like to do, well, there's several things. One is I like to really have kind of a theme for the photo shoot, and that can be um, a color theme and just kind of a feel for that photo shoot. I like to have models that have another skill, some sort of physical skill. So things like ballroom dancing, soccer, anything where they feel comfortable doing the physical activity and it can show kind of interaction and just daily life wearing jewelry. So once I found the models that are going to be in the shoot, then I'll think about the location. And, and I also know the mood. I'll think about the location. And the location will have to do with you know, the time of year, and even sometimes it comes down to the day and the weather, because all of this has to be, it's planned well in advance, and you know, we all know what happens with plans. So we can have an outdoor photo shoot plan that suddenly becomes an indoor photo shoot. A lot of times I'll try to pick a location where there is an indoor and an outdoor element, not only does this help us to get out of the elements if we need to, but it also provides us different areas to do the photo shoot so they can actually look like two different photo shoots. Because we generally shoot, when we really do a shoot, we'll do it for a half a day and sometimes a full day. We also work really hard to kind of make the locations work with us or for us and we work with them. So we don't try to fight it. If, if we have selected a location and we thought the light was going to be great and it's not, we don't try to force it. You know, maybe we thought we were going to photograph in one area, we'll go where the light is best and we'll just sort of go with the flow. Um, and a lot of times that, just that flexibility of mind of, okay, everything is just a little different than we thought, results in much more beautiful photos than we ever even anticipated. So when I'm watching the photo shoot happen and we're directing it and we're looking at it all, we're always fidgeting and adjusting. And what that's about is making sure that the jewelry is facing the correct way and just making sure that not one, that one model isn't blocking another model's jewelry or we're adjusting you know to turn here or maybe pull the hair back to show an earring that kind of thing for us jewelry is it turns out jewelry is one of the more difficult things to photograph because it is shiny it creates a challenge it's also small so in a model photo shoot we want to we need to have the person in focus but you very much need to see the jewelry in one moment in time. So there's a lot of just sort of adjusting going on and at the same time trying to make sure the models are relaxed and that, those two, that can be a difficult tightrope to walk. It's nice to be able to use the same photo for every aspect, everything we need to, to, everywhere we need to use a photo. That's not always possible. So I have to think about with each photo shoot, where are these photos going to be displayed? Because if what I am doing is a 10 by 10 billboard, then focus is the key. I mean, everything has to be in crystal clear focus because a ring this size may be blown up to be this size. And so it needs to be clear. For Instagram, it's not so much of a requirement that everything is truly sharply in focus because the photo is only so big. It'll never be huge. It, it does have to be reasonably in focus, but not to the level it would be to go on a billboard. Season is another thing that we play with because we sometimes like to have a seasonless look, um, but it's fun to shoot in snow. You know, we're in the South. We don't get snow that often. So when we do, you know, we get our bread and milk. I don't get milk, obviously, because I don't drink milk, but I get my bread and plant milk. And then we run out into the snow with the jewelry and have fun, you know, shooting the jewelry in different, in different ways. And the light is beautiful when it snows here because it's just like being in a white box. The other thing that we try to do in the photographs is show how many different ways a piece of jewelry can be worn. You can wear a necklace by itself. You can layer it. You can mix silver and gold. Um, you know, just just stacking on, it can be very much stacked on. Sometimes we stack on jewelry more than you really would in real life, but it, it gives you that image of how it is that you would stack. 
Another exciting thing for me personally is just to get to see people interact with jewelry for a long period of time, for a good four to eight hours. And so I get to see, you know, when somebody hands them the jewelry, how they go about trying to put it on. Does the class work for them? Does it, you know, does it not? Just kind of how they interact with it. One of the things that I have found is that men, uh, you know, they just haven't worn as much jewelry as women have. Men just haven't had as much practice with jewelry. Some of the models that we've had that were very uncomfortable with jewelry to start, by the end of four hours, are so comfortable with jewelry, they're ready to just go stack on a lot of rings. So I just, I, I love doing photo shoots. It gets me out of the office, but it also gets me interacting with the jewelry with other people. A lot of times I'm in the studio, I'm very micro-focused on the jewelry, and I'm thinking about how it lives with people, but it's really nice to just see it in action and see how it looks on so many different people and just play with the jewelry. And I don't know, it's just, I, I just love what I do. I hope you enjoyed this video on how I do photo shoots. I upload videos every week and I hope you'll join me. Bye for now.